Hi everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Derek Applewhite and I'm an Associate Professor of Biology here at Reed College. And my field of study is cell biology. Um, I study how cells change shape and migrate. Um, but I also use Drosophila, fruit flies, in my research. And I'll show you what they look like. What you might have also noticed is the lab is really empty. And that's because of the COVID shutdown. But these flies got to eat, and I have hope that we will get back to research at some time really soon. And so I need to make sure they can um, continue to propagate and so I can use them in my research. But I also thought I'd take this opportunity to give you a quick tour of the lab. So over here, we have the hood, tissue culture hood. We'll take a step back. Um, this is where we culture our cells. Uh, it's a semi-sterile environment so that they don't get contaminated with bacteria. Here's incubator, standard, you know, standard incubator. This one's a little bit old, but it does the job. And you can see it is empty. And that's sadly because everyone um, had to shut the research down so that we could all be safe. This is my microscope room. This is my baby, the lab's baby, really. It is um, a standard inverted microscope, but it's fitted with a couple of bells and whistles. On one side, we have a setup that allows us to do turf microscopy. That's called total internal reflection microscopy. And that allows us to look at the bottom of cells really closely. On the other side, we have a spinning disc confocal mic micro, um, arm, basically, and that allows us to actually go up and down in focal planes when we're studying our cells. So on one side, turf pretty much limits us to the bottom, really good signal to, signal to noise ratio. On the other side, we have confocal, also really good for live cell imaging, but we're not stuck at the bottom. This microscope also does uh, epifluorescence microscopy and phase contrast microscopy. Um, I have a motorized stage and a couple other bells and whistles that really make it useful for the type of research that we do. If some of that did not make sense to you, that's completely fine. You should take my cell biology class um, in the fall. And, you know, uh, I hope that for those of you who do know me, that you're staying safe um, and that you're not getting too discouraged by these times. It can be really hard. It can be really challenging for all of us. Um, but they, better days are to come. And hopefully we'll get back to doing the things that we love. In my case, um, doing research, being on the microscope, and um, talking science with students. Um, but until then, I'll see you online.